Create Bridges stands for celebrating retail accommodations, tourism, and entertainment by building rural innovations and developing growth economies. It's a pilot project that began in 2018 with funding provided by Walmart. It's designed for multi-county regions to focus community development resources on the retail, tourism, accommodations, and entertainment sectors, what we call create sectors. The purpose of Create Bridges is to raise awareness of the role that create sector businesses play in the local workforce and economy, to determine challenges, barriers, and opportunities related to those businesses, and to develop and implement strategies to strengthen the create sectors within a region. The project takes the participating regions from coalition building and needs assessment to strategy development and implementation. The Southern Rural Development Center has been pleased to partner with the University of Arkansas, Oklahoma State University, and the University of Kentucky in the first pilot phase of Create Bridges. This video shares stories from the five multi-county regions across these three states. We developed workforce training so that businesses had a place to send their employees to if they wanted to develop essential skills. Um, but we also were very clear about providing incentives to help reduce those barriers um, to getting to work and to being a good employee. And so one thing that Prosper Appalachia is doing is a summer internship program. It's a 10-week paid summer internship program coupled with professional development training. Uh, Create Bridges was a part of that last year in 2021. And we're trying to connect young people as early as possible to careers that they're interested in in their place, in their home communities, so that they can see the opportunities that are here in Eastern Kentucky, because there are opportunities. Um, and you know they don't have to leave home to find their future all the time. Uh, so that's something that we're trying to help connect community, connect employers, and connect young people. It was right in the middle of the pandemic, so I wanted something to do. I wanted to make the connections, and it really seemed interesting to me to be able to have that connection, because I had never done anything with like anybody else like that before, like an internship type deal, so I thought it would be really good for me to make those connections. So at the same time that I was working with Create Bridges, I was also working at the Mint Cottage, which is a locally owned boutique in Leslie County, downtown Hyden. So at the same time I was doing that and working with the social media, I was also working at another locally owned business, and I was able to integrate all of that into how I perceived my work and learned. I'm really hopeful that by compiling a lot of the resources and the services that we've been able to do over the course of Create Bridges into one spot, we've been able to eliminate and sort of break down some barriers that business owners and employees were facing over the past couple of years. I think that access to information and services and training is key to success for businesses and retail accommodations, tourism and entertainment in our service region. And I'm hopeful that we've been able to expand that access. When the economy shut down, when people were staying home, when people were not allowed in restaurants or other retail sites, you truly needed an online presence. And so it was a, a transition to broadband and online on steroids. I think a lot of our community leaders and a lot of our small businesses did recognize that. And so it was, it was, was interesting and fun to, to try to provide some technical assistance along those areas. Through Create Bridges, um, it has impacted our small business community greatly. Uh, the BRE business retention and expansion interviews that we held in the surveys that we did, the information that was gathered from that, um, created some initiatives that we took action on uh, that has helped our business community come together and to grow, especially focusing on our Hispanic business community. There were uh, needs within that group that had not been addressed. Um, there were resources that they didn't know were available for them. 53% of our population is actually Hispanic, and so they felt it was an important, important asset for us to actually make that connection. And so we did that. We actually set a date and time where we walked down to the downtown businesses and we introduced, hey, this is Create Bridges and this is what they do. I actually connected college students to Create Bridges and explained this is what they do and let's help, let's be part of that. I believe it's had great impact because there's so much knowledge that one wouldn't think to think about or apply towards their business and I feel like although this is a very small community, we have many businesses and it's something that we can use. 
Great Bridges was one of the first groups that came in and said, how can we help and support you? And I think it's impacted the region in the sense that it's given them a support system, you know, because we were asking them, can we spotlight your business in this podcast or can we write a blog about you? This is a way to uplift and support them and show examples to other business owners with the work that they've done and the examples they've set. So I think the impact is just providing a major support system and um, an uplifting resource for the business owners of our communities. We've been able to help different businesses with different resources. Um, we've provided them with some online classes, online training, as well as other things to help them thrive. The people that, that see the program, embrace the program, they benefit from it. Um, other small businesses, I encourage them, if, if there's a Create Bridges program in their area or something similar, to engage with the program uh, because it does pay off. We are in Pawnee, Oklahoma, and this is the Buffalo Theater. It became a theater in 1921. Rural towns don't get much attention. People go to the cities to do what they do, you know, to get to seek their entertainment. And um, if a town is lucky enough to have that entertainment in their very own community, I think it's very special and important. But we're going to show movies, we're going to have concerts, and we're going to bring back community theater, which is so important. This came about, and sooner rather than later, I got to show this town what's in store for them in the future, thanks to the grant. We worked in very rural regions that a lot of times we think don't have a lot of assets, but as they went through the process of identifying resources that help support uh, tourism and retail or the businesses or the people that were involved in those sectors, I think that gave them a new understanding and a new appreciation of the resources that are out there and the potential that exists within these communities. A lot of our rural communities uh, really have retail and hospitality as the backbone of their economy. We're a very ag state, um, but tourism is a big driver uh, for these local towns and it helps to keep them alive. Not only business retention expansion, but there was discussion about tourism because that's another sector that Create Bridges focuses on. And we have tourism going on in places around us. And I kept thinking, is there a way to have people stay and play instead of just pass on by the way? And it is so important for our region to understand and realize those economic dollars are going to be coming in here, those tourism dollars are going to be coming in here, into our area. How do we capture those dollars? How do we keep that money here to serve our community and to help build up our growth for our businesses? So, you know, those are exciting things that are happening. So one of the great things about this program is that even though it's a pilot, it's left something for the community to pick up and run with. We've had the opportunity to connect different leaders and communities together who I don't think otherwise would have been connected. And so helping to identify some of them, those individuals and bring them to the same table has really kind of spurred a, some new energy in the community that wasn't there. And so towns and communities that are an hour apart are now having conversations about how they can work together from you know maybe local projects that they have whether working around each other's schedule or focusing on bigger things to come in the future. Create Bridges took a stand at making sure that we had longevity. And what I mean by that is that we made sure to train other organizations to be able to take our work and to bring it forward. So that it wasn't something that once we were gone that just died on a shelf like some other grants tend to do. I said at this opportunity, we actually said, look, our main mission is that when you take us away as program coordinators, that we have programs and solutions that will live on. And so um, I, I'm really excited that, that we were able to help um, business organizations like the Chambers actually step up uh, and say, you know what, I really want to take charge now and take over. So some of our regions have taken that opportunity and I think that for me is a legacy that we can take and say, you know, this is money well spent and a program well built because now it's going to keep on moving forward.